After being heckled by a fan at Indian Wells, it seems fair and reasonable to ask whether the women's tennis star could use more time away to find answers for herself. Let's start with a story. It takes place in Indian Wells, California, at the BNP Paribas Open. Naomi Osaka was on one side of the net. A heckler was in the stands, letting her have it. And Osaka was visibly upset. This story doesn't take place this past Saturday night, we'll get to that in a moment, but rather four years ago. Osaka was facing Seisha Vickery in an early round match. Vickery, a young American inspired by the Williams sisters and who came to tennis not via country clubs but when her grandmother bought her a racket at a dollar store, brought a considerable fan section to this big match. One of the members in her traveling party was especially vocal. Nothing personal. But he brought with him the same sensibilities he would to a Rams or Dodgers or Lakers game and began to yap at the opponent. Osaka was rattled. She cast a downbeat look and began to tear up. Her coach at the time, Sasha Bojin, asked the fan to stop. Taking advantage of the WTA's rules that permit coaching during matches at events other than the majors, Bojin came onto the court and calmed Osaka down. She would win the match and the tournament, and the U.S. Open six months later, her breakthrough. Osaka has won three additional majors since then. She has topped the world rankings. She has hauled in more than $100 million in endorsements and lit the torch at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. And still, she is unsettled by conflict and confrontation and partisan fans. Osaka has said she has struggled with depression since her 2018 U.S. Open victory against Serena Williams and stepped away from the sport in 21 to 10 to her mental health. Since then, her ranking has slipped to number 78, and she has now gone more than a year without winning a title. On Saturday, she was playing her second match at Indian Wells, against Russian Veronica Q. Ermitova. Early in the match, a fan yelled, You suck. For as well as Kudermitova played, Osaka never recovered her bearings after the fans' remark. After losing 6-0, 6-4, she took the unusual step of requesting the courtside microphone. She then referenced a previous moment of heckling at Indian Wells. It was not her match from 2018. To be honest, I've gotten heckled before, and it didn't really bother me, Osaka said. But, like, heckled here? I watched a video of Venus and Serena getting heckled here, and if you've never watched it, you should watch it. And I don't know why, but it went into my head and it got replayed a lot. I feel like I've cried enough on camera. She was referring to a weekend in 2001, when the Williams sisters were jeered by the crowd, circumstances far harsher and more hostile than a single fan yelling, due to the ugly racial undercurrent the sisters endured. Though Serena played through the booze and won the tournament, both sisters declined to play Indian Wells for the next 14 years. After Osaka's explanation Saturday, she left the court and then skipped a post-match media conference.